Have you ever thought about how much fuel it would take to get to space? Hmm. The Saturn V rocket takes 200,000 gallons of kerosene, 400,000 gallons of liquid oxygen, and 260,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen to get up into the air. That's a lot of stuff. Now, do you want to make a rocket that we can do here at home? To get our rocket up into space or up into air, we're going to need thrust. Thrust is just a force, which is a push or a pull. Thrust in this case is a push, but it's a really big push because it has to overcome gravity. For our activity today, it's very simple. You're just going to need scissors, tape, a paper or plastic straw, and a couple pieces of construction paper. So to start off, let's make the body of our rocket. I'm gonna take my scissors and my construction paper. I'm just going to cut right here, piece just like that, pretty simple. And then I'm gonna place it on the straw and wrap it around my straw here to create the body of the rocket. A fun fact is this is also named the fuselage of the rocket. And then you'll just want to tape it along where the paper ends just so there's no air escaping there. Then you can just slide your straw right out and you have your fuselage. Now, we could make a nose cone or I'm gonna show you a simple way to just close off your rocket to make your nose cone. So you're going to want to pinch right here at the top and then fold down. See the little triangle there? Do the same thing here and then you have a nice pointed nose cone. Take a small piece of tape here and just fold and fold and then no air is going to come out the top of your rocket so that way when you use your straw to launch your rocket it will go nose cones are really great they're made to be aerodynamic so they can cut through air last piece to make our rocket travel easily and cut through the air we're going to need fins so i'm going to use my other piece of construction paper just to mix up the colors for a little fun and i'm going to make a couple triangles now you can add as many fins as you want. I'm gonna make three, but it's your decision. Whatever you think is gonna look good for your rocket and whatever is gonna help it go through the air, that's great. Now to tape on, come here you, to tape on our fins, I like to put my tape half on and half off of my fin. Find a place on your rocket, wherever you wanna put it is fine. And then tape it there and then you can kinda of see it's half on, half off. And then I'll take another piece of tape here and go like that. There's one. You know what, I changed my mind. I think I'm just gonna do two for today. So let's get our last one on here. Half on, half off. I'm gonna tape it directly opposite of the other one. And then same thing on this side. And ah, there is my awesome little straw rocket. Now to launch, pretty simple. Put your straw here. Are we ready? Can you count me down? Three, two, one, fire. Ah, it flew. That was our thrust. All right, explorers, thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time.